Um, you're talking about uh, with the compost system or with our compactor? Just with the compactor. Oh, no, no, they, they, can, throw, they can throw anything in the compactor okay. because it returns based on amp draw. So when it hits um, a bottle or uh, immovable object, let's say somebody threw a piece of wood in there, it just comes down, achieves that force, and returns. So it wouldn't hurt the machine. Um, but it, there needs to be a minimum of trash, landfill trash, that's thrown into compostable bags before um, those bags are unacceptable at the compost site. But in touring a compost site, um, there's, there is a limited amount of um, unwanted trash that they can deal with as as all of this trash is handled, you see a pile of plastic at the end that's ground up and then that has to go to landfill. But um, that's really why I say, I think, recycling and composting is in its infancy. I, I mean, the public still has to get educated, get on board, and I believe, I believe they will because the value is there. Um, something that we do that you're probably uh, guest surveys. The object is to measure the impact of CTI compactors and guest experience, guest perception. Um, we ask questions like cleanliness, um, green, um, the cleanly, are we, are, um, is this restaurant uh, uh, green, friendly or green? And uh, the uh, the significant changes or the statistically significant difference um, was clearly in the efforts to reduce trash volume. These guests actually um, commented on that. We did this two weeks prior to putting compactors in and two weeks post. Uh, clean trash cans and um, clean trash cans. I think in a lot of cases, trash cans are like this, they're, they're pretty clean. But the perception is, when we put compactors in, you saw that nice wood grain compactor, the perception is things are cleaner. If you have to push on the door, people don't like it. If you do the open tops, then you exhibit everybody else's trash for the next people coming through. To um, Hands-free is huge, and the green consideration. So to summarize, um, what do we do? We enhance the customer experience. Fewer trash empties during rush periods. Um, while you're dining in a quick serve restaurant, somebody isn't dragging a bag of trash by. Clean perception, hands-free, clean trash cans, especially during the flu season. Exteriors to fit decor, we build them to fit in. Again, it's an appliance that replaces the garbage cans in food environments. Support a focus on green. This is an opportunity for our customers to reinforce their green image and to incorporate uh, sustainable methods. Creates efficiencies around trash. That's a big one. Again. Labor is retasked to higher priority tasks. They're either dragging really light bags of trash around, or they're cleaning tables, cleaning floors, and doing things that are a great deal more important. We reduce that trash hauling frequency, and we use fewer bags, uh, both trash and compostable. And compostable is going to be is going to be very big. Question. Say like the kid sticks his hand in, or is there anything that shuts off? Oh, yes, yes. Question. Um, that's a great question. Yeah. Usually that is yeah. asked right away. A little kid in Dairy Queen does this all the time. Mom, let me show you. That. Now that door is against my hand. There's no weight because the door closes on gravity. It's not driven close. The way the uh, motor operates it, and it'll tell you uh, 
this is telling the staff there's something in the door. But as you close it, it goes right back into service. Um, I'm going to put this into a compassion cycle. And with, you mentioned specifically the paper towel model. If they stick their hands in it, it's oh, the yeah. same, same, same thing. thing. It just kind of says they're not going to operate until yeah. 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 Same door, just uh, the chute, it allows you that retention time so that they can make deposits mm -hmm. during a compaction cycle. <clears throat> From a design standpoint, uh, you said that you, your box is customizable. Yes. Could that be built into a wall so that, and could you have the door to remove the trash on the back side, say, you know, so built into a wall so it's flush and you just see the operating door, but could you access it? We're looking at both. Um, the most important thing for us at this point is the reliability and the efficiency. And now, quite frankly, the world is kind of our oyster. Those kinds of suggestions are they're great suggestions. Some of the garbage cans now, I think it's called the European style, in uh, some new McDonald's kind of built into the wall so that um, I believe they still open from the front. But um, depending upon um, where you're located, the hospital that you talked about, veterans administrations, that would be a possibility. The quick serve restaurants, it's a different ball game because um, they just use every square foot that they have. And um, I think that, uh, but I, I think it's a great idea. Then you take garbage out of the dining room, out of the food environments completely. Good question. So is there, a, is there some sort of mechanism that tells you when it's ready to be emptied? Yes. Um, that's another great question. I should have mentioned that because it's, it's a huge um, accomplishment over some of our competition. This line below here is what we call a gas gauge. So it counts door openings in compaction cycles. And it goes up. And quite frankly, we hit a point that we call warm when we get to the middle of the queue, and that's where we achieve maximum force, it jumps up to the warning level, three quarters full. Based on 